So I know in a lot of my Appalachian Trail vlogs, I didn't include much of camp at the end of the day. And that's because I usually spend a lot of my time hanging out with my friends and just putting the camera away. But right now I'm doing a little section of the Appalachian Trail and I'm by myself. So I thought that would be a good opportunity to show you my nighttime backpacking routine and all the chores I do at camp. So the first thing I do when I get to camp, before I even take my backpack off, is walk around and kind of see where everything is, the water source, the privy, but most importantly, I want to find a flat, nice spot to set up my tent. I usually try to find a spot a little bit away from the shelter to set up my tent. That's just in case if the people staying in the shelter are loud or snore. Once I find a spot I like, I start to unpack my bag with my food, my extra layers, because once I stop hiking, I'm probably gonna get cold soon, and I get my tent out. One of the most important things I look for in a tent site is that it's flat. Any slight incline can lead to a very annoying night's sleep. So it looks nice and flat and good to me. I'm just gonna clear up the rocks and sticks underneath the tent and set it up. Well, now that the tent's up, I have my rock sack, which I found a rock to put in there in my line. And I'm going to walk around and try to find a branch that I can hang my food bag off of. But I heard there's not a lot of good ones in this area. So I'm going to go for a little walk. Hanging off of that branch right there. It's kind of hard to walk underneath it, but it seems sturdy and it's far away from the tree. I think it's got all the right dimensions, whatever. So I'm just gonna leave that rock sack hanging until I'm ready to hang my stuff. Next, I'm gonna grab my water filter in my water bottle and follow the blue blazes down to the water source. This is the water source, like a 30 second walk from my tent and it's a really good one. I'm gonna fill this up. Well, first I'm gonna drink some water and then I'm gonna fill it up with filtered water for to have the rest of the night to cook with, to drink, maybe some leftover to drink tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna filter. Now I'm getting all my sleep stuff out of my backpack and throwing it into my tent. You really want to give your quilt some time to puff back up after being compressed all day. I got this rechargeable tiny air pump off of Amazon for $27. It only weighs 3 ounces and it's one of my new favorite pieces of gear. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. I really recommend this. It's so much nicer at the end of the day to blow your sleeping pad up this way opposed to manually putting air in it. Now I'm throwing all my gear either inside my tent or in my backpack and then taking my food bag up to the picnic table and have dinner by the shelter with the other hikers. I take my water my phone charger and my food bag up there to the common area where I can cook my mac and cheese. Most of my dinners on trail are backpacking meals so I just have to boil water and pour it into the bag to rehydrate and that makes cooking really easy. I usually find something to snack on while I wait for my meal to rehydrate and then I just stare at the bag until it's ready. This one took nine minutes. I think I did my math wrong when I was adding the water but 
Mac and cheese is ready. Lots of cheese, little bit of mac. <laughs> I finished my dinner and then I finished the snack that I was having earlier and I am mice and full. So I sat by the picnic table for a while. There's two other hikers here so far so got to chat with them for a bit. It was nice. The sun was shining on me and it was nice and warm but now that it's going down a little bit I put my hoodie on under the rain jacket and yeah there's not many more chores I have to do but I'm just gonna hang around. I think it's probably like six o'clock. It's, I don't usually get to camp this early, but just for how this trip was playing out, that's what I ended up doing. I think I'm done eating. So I'm gonna brush my teeth. And then once I do that, I can take all of the scented items, trash, food, toothpaste, toothbrush, and hang that up in the tree. It took me a second to remember the PCT food bag hang, but that's one of the best ones I've ever done. This campsite had no service, so I used my Garmin inReach to send a text home to let them know I'm safe at camp and going to bed soon. There were a couple more things I needed to set up in my tent, like my pillow and attaching my quilt to my sleeping pad, but I had a long time to just chill and relax. About five other hikers showed up to this campsite, so I hung out with them for a bit. We made a fire, and I went to bed around 9 o'clock. Thanks for joining me tonight at camp and I will see you in my next video. Good night.